Hi, I'm Brian Spann and welcome to Mead Week. This week we take a break from our usual programming to bring you a look back at the third quarter of 2012. We'll be back next week with another edition of Mead Week. Until then, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. You got the best job, huh? Stay cool. Yeah, most, most days people don't want to do this. Today, today is a good day for this. Hey! What we really like about it is it has the team meet and all of the services, the different services, and uh, of course a commemoration of today. AWG's goal during these exercises is to evaluate different types of mobility options, but for these soldiers the motorcycle seemed very popular. You can obviously see from this field um, how breaking contact on foot and breaking contact on a motorcycle, you're going to be able to get, out, get out of there a lot faster on a bike or a quad. Geek Squad Summer Academy, we are currently in our sixth year. Uh, we started back in 2007 and it's grown from one camp all the way to 40 different camps this summer. Uh, we are very excited because we do have the Joining Forces initiative this summer. Um, we're doing six different camps for the Joining Forces. Um, basically what Summer Academy is all about is that we're a technology immersion camp. They get a lot of hands-on experience with computers, and we find that when you have hands-on experience with something, that's when the kids really take to learning. Fort Meade's National Night Out has been a consistent winner of Best Night Out several years running in its category, and if you showed up Tuesday, you'd know why. Some of this year's new features included a massive portable zip line. Meanwhile, the Department of Veterans Affairs recently purchased a new 295-acre National Cemetery in Sarasota, Florida. Okay, here we are. Close Connor. up. Perfect. Look up at her. Service members from around the Capital Region volunteered for the shoot. This group featured Air Force members from Cyber Command, Andrews Air Force Base, and Fort Meade. The photos themselves will be cast onto stone and glass as part of the exhibit. The project should be completed by the end of the year. The biggest goal of ASSIST and our aim is to, uh, our hope also, is that participants leave the workshop feeling better uh, prepared, uh, more ready, willing, and able to intervene. Somebody's having thoughts of suicide. Today we are just completely delighted through the sponsorship with USO and Emergent Biotechnologies to bring Panther Racing and J.R. Hildebrand and watch him win the Baltimore Grand Prix on Sunday. Woo! So this is a way to kick it off by meeting the star of the show, which will be on Sunday, you know, getting pictures, autographs, checking out the, the car, getting the shirts. This is your show for today. The U.S. is racking up medals in the swimming events, and in his qualifying heat, Navy Lieutenant Brad Snyder set a Paralympic record in front of thousands of people. Uh, I've never walked out in front of this many people. Very crazy, a lot of nerves or whatever, a lot of excitement. Second hip in the pool felt natural again. Lieutenant Snyder lost his sight in Afghanistan less than a year ago and is already accomplishing huge feats and making an impact on audience members. By bringing excellence into the schools, we inspire the kids to join the band program with the ultimate goal of promoting excellence through music. Because we want to show you how awesome all these instruments sound up here and hopefully we have most of you guys picking something for the school year. That'd be really cool. The new Garrison Command Sergeant Major Thomas Ladder welcomed more than 1,200 soldiers, airmen, and Marines to this year's Run of Remembrance. POWs and MIAs are still out there missing. Soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, Coast Guardsmen, we have still not accounted for. Before we begin the run today, I'd like us all to just take a moment of silence to think about our members who are still missing. What we look for in these specialty type of evaluations is what is the issue with regard to a person's judgment and reliability? And often seeking treatment is seen as good judgment. For more information on suicide prevention, go to www.preventsuicide.army.mil.